What is a keyboard? If you think that this right here, this is a keyboard, you're wrong. This is a toy made for children. I mean, look at this, look. You see that? That's a membrane. Ew, no, get this away from me. Now this, this is a real keyboard. Cherry MX Blue with Cherry Stabilizers. This is the Everest Max by Mountain. Now what's so special about it, you might ask? Well, let me just show you, see this numpad? Okay, just regular numpad, right? What? That's what you're thinking right now. This is a keyboard with a modular design. You can remove this if you don't like it, or what you can do is put it wherever you'd like on the keyboard. You can put it on the left side, you can put it on the right side. It doesn't matter. It still works. So this mechanical keyboard is perfect for those who don't know, oh, do I want a full keyboard or do I want a keyboard with a, you know, fully functional numpad? I don't know. Uh, well, this is for you. It can be a mobile compact keyboard. It can be a full fledged dock station with macro keys for your streams and whatever. It can do anything. Look at this. See this thing? Okay, what's this? Uh, just some kind of media controller thing? Okay, so this is a module. You can attach it just like that. And you see that? Oh, what's that? That's a screen. That's an LCD screen. And also, this numpad has screens as well, four of them. Okay, they're small, but they're fully customizable. You can assign any type of command or macro to those keys and it does anything you want. What I have assigned here is Audacity, Steam, Photoshop, and my soundboard. So this keyboard is also perfect for creators, editors, streamers as well. How exactly? Well, the latest firmware for this keyboard, Basecamp, comes with built-in OBS integration, which means that you can assign specific OBS functions to any key on this keyboard, which is pretty cool. Also very useful for streamers like me, like maybe you are a streamer or you're, you plan to be a streamer, I don't know. Other than that, let's look at the keyboard itself. What does it present itself with? Well, let's start with aluminum frame. So this, this doesn't bend, okay? This is built like a tank. All right, you can't bend this. I dare you, I double dare you. Try to bend this keyboard, you can't do it. So this frame is solid. On the back, we have ABS plastic. We have these uh, circular things that you can adjust to any height you'd like. We have some rubber pads here just to make sure this keyboard isn't slippery. Have this armrest that's completely optional. It connects through a couple of neodymium magnets to the bottom right here. Just like uh, this thing, which connects through USB type C. By the way, five USB type C ports on this thing. I counted them. Have one here, two here, another here, and one in the middle. And you can only connect the one in the middle to your computer. All the other ones are for these modules. This numpad, for example, it's a pretty clever engineering right here, right? Where you can switch the, uh, the ports around. The issue here is that when you connect it, it's not like firmly attached to the keyboard at all. It's kind of flimsy. So when you pick up the keyboard, for example, it just it hangs on there and it's not reliable at all. Like, look at this. This. 259 euros you can do better mountain you you definitely can do better you can reinforce this just a little bit with something i don't know but you know that's just a small complaint it really doesn't take away much from the keyboard however there is one minor gripe i also have with it it's the fact that if you press on your keys real hard like i do because i don't know hard keystroker, I don't know if that's a real word or not, but the key 
hits the aluminum frame and it resonates like it's a bell. So you, when you, you hit your keys, it kind of makes the sound like doom, doom. It gets kind of annoying, especially if you're not wearing headphones while gaming or typing aggressively. But other than that, the typing experience on this keyboard is just magnificent. It's out of this world. Again, it comes with Cherry MX Blues, Cherry MX Browns, Reds, it has Silent Reds, Speed Silvers, any type of cool new Cherry MX switch it has. You can choose them on the website. I chose Cherry MX Blues because I prefer my keyboard sounding like a real keyboard. If you want a silent keyboard, just Look, this is a silent keyboard. You can't hear it, this, this is a silent keyboard. $5, meanwhile this sounds pretty good. Since the switches are reinforced with lubricated cherry stabilizers, obviously the typing here is just perfect. It's really, really good. You need to experience it to understand it, which is expected at this price point, really. This is a flagship mechanical keyboard with its unique characteristic being the modularity and also the software support. Basecamp has basically customization options for almost everything here. You have seven color RGB profiles. Oh, did I mention this keyboard is fully RGB, by the way. Don't know if you noticed it. So first up we have just a static color. After that we have this rainbow type effect. The third one is another rainbow type effect, but this time it's called tornado. And as you can see, the colors are changing like a tornado. The fourth one is called breathing. Pretty self-explanatory. We have a slow fade between colors. Again, this is all customizable. You can adjust the colors at your will. This one is called Reactive and reacts to your keystrokes. This is my favorite. This is Matrix and obviously a reference to the Matrix movies. And you can customize them at your will as well. Now this last one is just called the Custom Profile. And basically what it means is that you can adjust uh, the color of every single key to your liking. You can play around with these profiles. You can change all the parameters you need. You can change the speed, the color, the brightness. There's four brightness levels here. To me personally, I think it could have been more brighter, but when you're gaming at night, you can still see the keys and it's bright enough, really. So overall, do I recommend the Everest Max by Mountain. Well, if you're an enthusiast who needs a mechanical keyboard with modularity, this one is definitely worth it, even for the high price. But if you're just getting into mechanical keyboards and you want something entry level, this definitely is not for you. I would not recommend spending this much on a mechanical keyboard if you're just trying to get into it. However, if you want to get a mechanical keyboard, it's your first one, and you just want to get the best that's on the market currently, you can't go wrong with this. Visit gbatemp.net for the full review of the Everest Max by Mountain.